This video is titled, Magaya Ocean Carriers Interface with Intra. We will be covering linking container equipment type, preparing shipment for transmission, transmitting shipment, response from carrier, viewing draft and original BL from carrier, carrier messages overview, status updates from carrier, and lastly, automatic status updates to your customers. Now let's cover the first part of the video, linking container equipment type. If this is a fresh installation of Magaya, this is not required as these codes are already linked. However, if you are an existing client of Magaya and you are adding the Ocean Carriers interface to Magaya, you will be required to link your containers with the container equipment type. Now this is a very easy step that is only done once on one computer for your entire database or your entire organization. To do so, we go to warehousing, then we go to package types, and we need to link up all the containers that are used for ocean shipments. So we'll start with 45 foot high cube, we'll double click on it, and we simply go down to where it says container equipment type, we click on the lookup button, and we look for the same description, 45 foot high cube aluminum. We highlight it, we select OK, and we select OK again. Then we go to the next container, for example, 45 foot standard container. We double click on that one, go to our container equipment type, we click on the lookup button, and we match up the description again. So as you can see, basically all we're doing is matching up the descriptions in your database to the description that matches with the container code. As I said before, this is a very simple process and only needs to be done one time. Now let's take a look at the second step, which is preparing our shipment for transmission. We'll go to Outgoing Shipments, 2008. I'll find my Ocean folder, and I have a shipment prepared in February. I'll select the master of the shipment, and I'll look at the General tab. And here I have my shipment name my BL number, my booking number, executed place, this has changed now in Magaya. Before this was a free type text field, now it's a drop down list that pulls from your ports that are in your database. Executed by, I'm the administrator using the system, executed date, departure date, arrival date, declared value, description of goods, then of course we have our entities for the shipment, our routing for the shipment completely filled out. Now we're not covering in this video how to create a shipment. That's covered in our other video called Creating Ocean Export Direct or Consolidation Shipments with Magaya. We fill in all the information here in our routing. Charges is not mandatory for the shipping instructions. Our cargo is mandatory. Now at the first level or the master level of the shipment you can only have containers, you cannot have loose cargo. You can have loose cargo at the house level, but in the master it must all be repacked into a container. So once we've done that, we can go into Actions, Ocean Carrier Messages, and we can begin the next step, which is preparing the shipment for transmission, or our shipping instructions. At the very top of our shipping instructions page, it says shipping instructions message. Please enter the necessary information to send the shipping instructions to the ocean carrier. First, we select the service type, either door to door, door to port, port to port, or port to door. Let's assume I'm doing a door to door shipment. Next, we select the shipment type, either full load or less than full load. And here I'm telling the carrier if my container is completely full or partially full. I'll select full load. Next, I enter in any routing instructions I'd like to send to the carrier. Next, I select any clauses I'd like to send to the carrier, such as container sealed by shipper, freight as agreed, and any other clause I require for my shipment. No shipper's export declaration required as per section 30.39 and so on. 
The next field is our description of goods. Now this field here is pulling from our description of goods in our shipment, which I will show you momentarily. The next field is send shipment notes, which is also pulling from our shipment. Now if we don't want to pull these in from our shipment, we can simply take the check mark off and these will not be transmitted. If we go back to our shipment by selecting close, you can see here from our generals tab, the description of goods, that's what's pulling into that field. And in our external notes field, our notes from here are pulling into the shipping instructions as well. Remember to contact agent at destination. Let's go back to our shipping instructions and finalize the shipping instructions. The last option is we tell the carrier how many freighted and unfreighted original and non-negotiable BLs we want printed. Here we tell the system original, one freighted, one unfreighted, non-negotiable, one freighted, one unfreighted, or if we want Seaway Express bills and how many of the freighted and unfreighted we want. Let's assume I want original, one of each. Next, we'll select Save and Next. And here, the following is a summary of the message that will be sent to the ocean carrier. If some fields appear in red, you should fix them before sending the transaction. So we go through and all the statuses that are okay are ready to be transmitted. If for any reason one is in red, I need to go back to my shipment and correct it. For example, here, my port of loading is blank. It says it's a required field. The field must be provided. So I can click on close and go back to my shipment and go to my routing tab. And as you can see here, port of loading, I accidentally left it out. So I'll select my port of loading. And now I can go back to my shipping instructions and attempt to retransmit them. I'll click on save and next. None of my work here is lost. And I'll go back through and make sure that everything is okay. Since all of my statuses are okay now, I can select send and post this message to the servers for transmission to the ocean carriers. As you can see here, it says your message has been successfully posted to the Magaya network servers. Now let's take a look at the carrier messages for the shipment. We'll go back to actions, ocean carrier messages, and we'll look at results. As you can see here, we have messages for shipment 01-MDC2416-08. In my messages I have an outgoing message on 228-2008 which were my original shipping instructions. I have an incoming message from the carrier that says application acknowledgement accepted. That means they accepted my shipping instructions. At any given time we can click on get new messages and the system will automatically go out and get messages. But by default, the system goes out periodically and checks for new messages. Now, let's take a moment and look at all the carrier messages in Magaya Network. We'll go to Magaya Network and we'll go to Ocean Carrier Messages. Now here we have all of the messages either inbound or outbound. We can filter these and we can filter by message type shipping instructions, application acknowledgement, booking request, booking confirmation, status update, bill laying document, or we can filter by bill laying number, booking number, or the direction of the message. Once I select the message, at the bottom I get all the information for the message, and I can also right click on the message and say go to shipment, and the system will automatically take me to that shipment where that message is linked to. Now let's go back to the shipment that we posted and let's take a look at the attachments that are provided back from the carrier, what we call viewing draft and original BL from carrier. We go back to our shipment and we'll go to the attachments tab. As you can see here, the carrier has posted a draft in PDF format of their bill of lading. So if we look at it, it says draft way bill non-negotiable non -negotiable from CMAC GM. Now after a while, we will have 
the final VL also attached here in our shipment. Now as you transmit, if there's changes going back and forth between you and the carrier, you'll see a list there of all of the BLs, you know, the history of them, of the drafts, and also the original, all the way up to the final. Now in the ocean carrier messages of the program under Magaya Network, where you have the summary of all the messages, here you can filter the messages and select message type, for example, bill leading document. I'll click on OK. And here's a list of all the BLs I've received from all the carriers. When I select one, I can select on View BL Document, and Magaya will open the, the BL received from the carrier in PDF format for you to view it. As you can see, you can select any one of these and view the BL document. Let's go back to our shipment. Now let's look at the events or the statuses that are automatically updated to our shipment from the carrier. This provides a way that we can go in simply to our Magaya system and know the status as to what is happening with each container, eliminating the need to call the carrier for a status update and wasting unnecessary time. We simply go to our shipment, we'll select events, and here we have the latest events pertaining to our shipment. So if we look, we have three cargo status updates here from the carrier at our point of origin, two containers that arrived in gate, we actually have one container that's loaded on the vessel. As the statuses progress, we'll see them all here in Magaya. And towards the end of the video, we'll come back here and we'll see the entire summary, where they're all loaded on vessel, the vessel departure, vessel arrive, where they're unloaded from the ship, where they're out of the gate, and all the way back until the containers are returned all the way back to the yard. Now, let's take a look at a sh the shipment as it's almost completed with all the, the events back from the carrier and how our customers would view these events using Magaya Transaction Tracking or Magaya Live Track. If we go to events in the shipment, we'll see that all the statuses are almost updated. And they're in order as they occurred. For example, we have January 12th, cargo status update, and it says, in gate, the first container. Then we have in gate, the second container at our port of origin. Our next update is loaded on vessel. Two entries because there's two containers in our shipment. Then we have vessel departure with the date and time it departed. And then we'll go back and we'll look again. We have vessel arrival, unloaded from vessel, out of gate, and we have one container that's been returned to the yard. We're still waiting for the last one. If we provided our customer with transaction tracking, we'll emulate that now. Let's take a look and see what our customer would see with the transaction tracking. I'll take the link here and I'll copy it and I'll put it into my Internet Explorer. Now I'm into my Internet Explorer page. I'll paste the link into the URL section and select go. And this is what our customer would see. Now, this is very similar to the Magaya Live Track that we're going to show you momentarily. However, as you know, this one does not provide any historical for all the shipments, or the customer can actually view the physical documents. As you can see down in tracking details, we have all of the events from the carrier that automatically are updating our statuses to our customers. Let's go back to our attachments and see if we've received our final BL from the carrier. We'll go to attachments and here it is, our final BL. We can double click on that and we see the final BL from the carrier. As you can see, the Magaya Ocean Carriers Interface with Intra provides you a paperless solution to communicate with the carriers as well as a central place of keeping your documents organized for the shipment. Now let's take a moment and look at the live track feature and how your customers would benefit 
from the cargo status updates using the Magaya Ocean Carriers interface with Intra. In this example, we're tracking from the Magaya homepage. Once you have Magaya installed in your system, you can have your very own tracking script on your own website. This eliminates the need for the customer to enter a cargo agent ID and is branded with your company name. Here we're entering our ID, which is 14897, and a login and password that we have already created. Once we log in, we have access to the different parts of the tracking that we have assigned to our customer. For example, this customer has access to view his bookings, pickup orders, warehouse receipts, cargo detail, inventory, cargo releases, shipments, and invoices. How to set up these rights in different access levels is covered in a separate video titled How to Set Up Magaya Live Track. Now we'll go to shipments and we'll take a look at the status updates that are automatically updated to your customer from the carriers. Once we go to the shipment list here, we see we have a received ocean shipment, it has two container numbers, and a description of commodities. If I double click on that entry, I'll get more information regarding that entry. Here it gives me all the information pertaining to the shipment, the status of the shipment it's received, the direction it's outgoing, the master bill lading number, the booking number, declared value, description of goods, who the shipper was, who the consignee was, and all other relevant information. Here I have two containers, one 40-foot standard container with 1,519 cartons and one 40-foot standard container with 1,450 cartons. If I scroll down to the bottom, I'll see the different statuses that are automatically updated by the carrier. For example, in-gate container, in-gate container in Yantin, loaded on vessel, vessel departure, vessel arrival in Long Beach, unloaded from vessel in Long Beach. It even gives us the date and the time. Unloaded from vessel again in Long Beach. Out of gate at Long Beach, February 9th at 8, 10 a.m. And lastly, return container back to the yard, the date and time. As you can see, these invaluable cargo status updates from the carriers will provide you with a state-of-the-art global tracking solution. And of course, as you already know, your customer can see the BL online. And this again is covered in our previous video called How to Set Up Magaya Live Track. This concludes our video on the Magaya Ocean Carriers interface with Intra.